Students, we are starting topic uh, conservation from page number 36, and we were covering our chapter number five that we started from page number 34. What does conservation mean? Conservation is about protecting and managing the Earth's natural resources and environment. Conservation means protection and manage the Earth's resources and environment so that they are still here for future generation. Just think, if people who had lived before us and they have polluted the rivers and streams, what do you think, what does that mean for us? Can you use that water for future? Can we use any sort of fish or any creature that is in water? No, it means there are less food for it. Just think more. Imagine if people who lived before us had chopped down lots of trees, what do you think that would it mean for us? Obviously, it would mean that we have no wood for, for future and we cannot build more homes. It would mean that there would not be a place for lots of animals to live. It would mean that there would, would be less air to fresh if uh, less air for us to breathe. Yes, it means if we use too much resources and we pollute the water, then there will be no clean water to drink for the future generation, and uh, there would no wood, there would be no wood for the future generation, no food for the future generation. So we should control the, uh, these habits so that these things and these resources can be there for the next generation. Now uh, on this page, page number 37, there is an activity time for you. The thing that you have to do, you have to draw two pictures. One picture for the habitat that had been looked after and one picture for the habitat that has been neglected. You have to draw two pictures. You can take help from the internet and you can take help from uh, your family members to draw these pictures. And after that, you have to give the answers. You can highlight these answers on your books. What is meant by conservation and why is it needed? Now, what are the natural resources? Now, we are on page number 38. What are the natural resources? Natural resources are the things that grow and created naturally. Natural resources that are God gifted resources and without human help. The word resource means something that can be used. Only natural things that are useful for human can be called natural resources. Here are some natural resources, you have to memorize them, that is water, trees and plants, oil, gas, coal, gold, silver, sand, salt, wind energy and the solar energy. Now you have to make the list of all these resources, which of them can you keep in your mind and which are out of your list, then you can also Read, uh, uh, write them after learning them and the thing that you have to do answer the question what are natural resources what are natural resources after reading this page thoroughly you can give the answer that what are natural resources after this on page number 39 uh, human using natural resources how the human beings are using natural resources the first one is water, how human beings are using water. Human, are, uh, human use water for three main purposes, that is drinking, washing and transport. The second one thing, how do they use the plants? They use, the human being use the plant for five main sources, uh, five main reasons and purposes, that is building houses for food, for making medicine, for clothing, and for decoration. 
and uh, how are they using minerals they are using minerals for four reasons to build houses for growing plants and energy resources and again for decoration here is another thing for you uh, do you think that fish are a natural resources can you tell that fish are the natural resources are they created with the help of human being no these are the natural resources and they are created without the help of human being and they are for the use of human now you have to do the thing you have to select the three natural resources and explain that how they are using by human beings now come for the renewable and non renewable energy resources the natural resources can be divided into two parts the first one is renewable and the second one is non renewable we have two types of things one is that can be recycled and the second one that cannot be recycled so similarly the natural resources are renewable and non renewable now what word comes in your mind when you think about renewable yes just think and try to answer yes renewable resources are the resources that will not run out human ke uh, can keep using them as much as they can some of the natural uh, resources that can be renewed are wind energy and the solar energy these are the two resources if the human are keep using them they can be renewed again and again the air cannot be finished and similarly the sun energy also cannot be run out wind and energy from the sun are renewable resources when used as energy the earth will not run out of wind or energy from the sun trees are also a renewable resource because forests are able to regrow but the fast cutting and chopping of trees can uh, slow down this process now what comes in your mind about renewable yes try to think and try to answer yes non renewable resources are resources that can only be used once once they have all been used up there are no more of them for example coal oil and other minerals are non renewable if humans continue to use them then one day the earth will run out of them the earth does not continue to produce coal and oil and other minerals but much more slowly then humans are using them up now the thing that you have to do here are some questions from your whole chapter you have to find out their answer and you can also give the answer on your notebook